using slope stability in DPEX curve. In this video we will learn how to use the slope stability module. We have an example of an excavation with multiple tiebacks and a soldier pile wall. Uh, to apply the general slope stability analysis we go to slope. We select to perform the slope stability analysis. Here we have options and here we have the analysis methods to select. We can select here general limit equilibrium, Morgan's and Price. This method includes both the horizontal force and the moment equilibrium, whereas the Bishop method includes only the moment equilibrium. Then we can control how we would like our failure surfaces to be, circular, circular with active wedge, with passive wedge, both active and passive wedges, block type or a user specified surface. And if we have a radius, we can select if we want to have a single radius, a ready passing from specified limits or between specified values. To keep it simple, uh, we will select a rectangle with the draw tools here. We move the rectangle like this. If we had uh, cir uh, circles passing from specified points, we could go from here to there with the other tool. Uh, and uh, we have uh, the surfaces that are right now which have both the circular active and passive wedge. By selecting the options here, uh, we have the various methods and uh, uh, tolerance limits, the center coordinates, radius, active search. We can do a sweep angle on the active and passive side. This will take a longer time to perform the analysis though. Uh, we have the support options. Uh, if you want to include wall shearing capacity, three-dimensional loads, and tension cracks. We can analyze now the project. The program will first perform the analysis of the excavation, and after the analysis is complete, the slope stability analysis will be performed. We see here the results of the intermediate uh, slope stability surfaces. And once the analysis is complete, the program will prepare a summary table including all the results for the wall and the slope stability. So first we have the design section which is base model under for all design sections. We see the wall moments and so on. And our base, uh, our slope stability safety factor is 1.413. We can go on one design section and check the slope stability summary results in terms of all the stages uh, and see various uh, parameters here on the obtained uh, critical uh, failure surface. Once we are out of the summary, the program takes us to the results tab and we have the stability safety. Here we can see the critical uh, safety factor. Now we see here that we haven't included uh, that our critical failure point is right on the rectangle, search rectangle for the patterns here. Ideally we should situate the search rectangle in such a location where we cover uh, that uh, this search point is within the search rectangle. We can see also the contours, zoom in with uh, the roller, I'm zooming in by pressing the roller right now to move left and right, and moving in with the roller or moving out. And we can also see the slices, and double click on the slice, and check that the force balance is proper. And then we can see other uh, forces on the slices from here. To export data for the slope stability analysis, we can go to report options. And then on slope stability, we can uh, uh, select to include all these results. And preview here.
and from the preview we'll be able to see how the uh, report will uh, be prepared and if we decide to print it we can print it on PDF or Word. So going down here we see all the results. Envelopes of moments. And if we go further below, we can see slope stability, wall embedments, and slope stability assumptions and results. And this concludes our presentation of uh, slope stability capabilities within DeepXCAD. Thank you. Visit our webpage in order to download a free trial version of our software program and please feel free to contact us.